Hey screen printers, it's Ryan from Ryanet. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the low cure additive made by International Coatings. Now, low cure additive actually allows your ink to cure at a lower temperature. Typically, ink needs to cure right around 320, 325 degrees through the entire ink layer, meaning the surface of the ink actually has to reach a higher temperature than that. Well, low cure additive actually allows ink to cure as low as 275 degrees. You know what that means for screen printing is that for polyester garments at high temperatures, the polyester dyes on dark polyester garments like let's say black, you know, red, navy blue, royal blue, they actually emit from the polyester fibers during the curing process. So if you go all the way up to 325, 330 degrees, your ink's actually going to receive those dyes and change color. But if you keep the ink low, like below 300 degrees, less of that dye migration actually happens. So by adding this into any ink, or especially polyester inks, you can actually lower the curing temperature. Now, Ryanet does have a line of poly performance inks that do cure naturally at a low temperature without having to add the low cure additive in. But if we wanted to use a standard ink, let's say Ryanet White, we can simply add the low cure additive. So first, we want to figure out how to do that. And to do that, I just pulled up my iPhone and I searched the Ryanet Help Desk. So you just find the Help Desk, it's linked right on from our homepage of our website. And then I searched Low Cure. So I found the article on the Help Desk right here, Low Cure Additive, super simple to find. Simply download the PDF and that gives me the instructions of use. So basically, we're going to mix this at 5 to 6 percent per volume or weight into ink. So we'll take a little pint container right here. We simply put it on our gram scale, we zero it out, and then we add in a little natural round at white ink. And then we're just going to mix five to six percent of the low cure additive into that. So that's zero right there. Oh man, I already got ink all over the place. So 56 grams, five or six percent to 56 grams would be 2.6 grams or so. So we're going to zero that out again. So we're looking for just a couple of grams of low cure in here. There's one. Does not take a lot. I'm not mixing a, a ton right here either. So there's 2.4 and then 2. Point, yeah, 3 that's about 2.3 3 that's about um 5%. So now I'll take the rest of this off, I'll clean it off, and then we'll mix it up. So we've got all that low cure added and mixed in. We mix it in at about 6%. So now let's print with it. Okay, so I'm going to do two prints here, one with standard Ryanet white and one with the low cure additive white. So the first one, this is actually the standard white. And do a couple passes here to make sure that we got a good ink coverage. I'm not going to do any flashing. I'm just going to get a good coat of ink on there. Okay, now we got the low cure additive mixed in. And we'll do a second print with that. Now, it doesn't really change the ink consistency that much. It changes it a little tiny bit. We're going to have a little bleed over right there, but actually made the ink a little creamier. But I did also modulate the ink. You should always modulate the ink. All right, so now we have ink with low cure and ink that's standard. Let's cure it and then do a stretch test. So we're going to let the surface of this ink cure to 300 degrees evenly. Should reach 320, remember. So we're going to let the surface cure to 300, which means the base should be at least 275, and that's where we actually need to be um, for our low cure added cure at 6%. There we go, almost there. All right, so I'm doing some stretch tests, and I do see a little cracking in the standard ink while the low cure additive is holding nicely. I'm actually going to do a wash test, because whenever you really want to test your ink, you want to do a wash test. So we'll run this through the washer at a heavy cycle with just standard Tide, you know, standard duty detergent, and come back and see which ink stayed. Okay, after an aggressive wash test, we can see that our ink that had the low cure additive in it, that cured to 300 degrees on the surface, actually stayed in nicely versus the ink that did not have it in, that was under cured because it didn't have low cure additive built into it, is washing out and fading away plus abrading very rapidly. So with low cure additive, you can actually lower the curing temperature 
Also, that works great, once again, for polyester performance fabrics because you mitigate the dye migration problems that happen at higher curing temperatures. Check out Low Cure Additive, available on our website.